What's up guys? Um, today we are out here on the south side of Chicago, mostly looking for birds. Uh, we so far flushed two short-eared owls, which was our target species. Um, I'll add a picture in there after this, but um, yeah, we're going to look for some more birds, possibly find some rarities. Um, we're also going to go looking for some herbs too, possibly five-line skink, DK's brown snake, any other snakes that we could possibly find. Uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated with whatever we find. Alright, so we've got a short-eared owl right over their head. Pretty cool. On the path. Yeah, one, la one landed on the path. Should we go over there? Yeah. Short-eared owl. We can go over it a little bit. Let's see what these guys... There's a nice short-eared owl. Not too bad. It's getting harassed by the gulls. But um, yeah, I have not seen one of these guys since January, so pretty nice. There you go. Short-eared owl chasing a ring-billed gull. That is one cool bird. Short-eared owl. Short-eared owl. Yeah, I did. Here's some nice rocks. Ooh, that's like a. Oh, there's like a. I can't tell if this is like a skink shed or something. I think that that is a snake tail shed skin. Pretty cool. There's a cool little flower. I think it's called butter and eggs. I will update if it ends up being something else. Oh no, they they told me to stand up against the wall. Yeah. We are making our way over to our main flip side of the spot for skinks and snakes and other good stuff. So we will keep you updated. So right down here, there's a butterfly. You can see it sunning right there. It's called the common buckeye. Oh, there it, goes. it is November 6th, I believe, and that is extremely late for really any butterfly. Um, yeah, let's keep looking. We got ourselves a nice little green frog right here. Nice. All right, guys, we are at our third spot for the day. Um, this is where we found the tiger salamander last time. Uh, we are going to look for another one. Um, let's see what we can find. We're gonna see about any of these. Here, here. Oh, dude, no way. No freaking way. You've got to be joking. <laughs> got one. The first, the first yeah. thing flipped. Oh my gosh. There you go. A tiger oh. salamander flipped under the first rock. What the heck? Uh oh. This is actually bad lighting. Oh, look at that guy. Aww. Maybe 
you let him go? Yeah, we will. We're gonna let him. You want to just climb right onto my hand? That's okay. I don't have a good pick. Um, yeah, so that just happened. <laughs> absolutely massive Chicago garter snake. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. He's being super chill. He feels Whoa. pretty cold even through my glove. So, awesome. uh, yeah, that is pretty awesome. Chicago garter snake. That is one pretty awesome snake. All right, let's let him go. All right, stay out of trouble. See you later. See you later. There's updated info. Uh, I think there's a dead snake. Oh my gosh. Another absolutely massive garter snake run over. It's really disappointing. Um this is a 10 mile an hour speed limit zone. Um, yeah, I don't get this at all. But um, one thing that's kind of interesting is you can kind of see that it's kind of turning blue. Um, and the genus Thaminophis, which are the garter snakes and ribbon snakes, um, and I think also green snakes, but they're in a different genus. When they die, there's some chemical in their body that makes them turn blue uh, when they die, which is kind of interesting, but still, that is. Really disappointing. I'm just gonna move it out of the road. And um yeah, this is a this is a ten mile an hour um speed limit zone parking lot. So I don't get why this would ever get run over. Are you kidding me? Where'd it go? Gotta be kidding me. Another one. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with people? I just, I don't get it. Again, this is a 15 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour speed limit zone. Harmless creature. You, you gotta be joking. This is a 10 mile an hour speed limit. This is the second absolutely massive garter. I don't get it.